So behind me is the new Volvo C40. And we're going to go through today the, the design story behind this car, meet the designers, listen to the inspirations behind their work. Uh, we're gonna start with exterior, and move on then to interior and color materials, and really understand their inspiration from nature and light. Also talk about sustainability and using natural materials. We'll move on to then the user experience, so connecting the, the mobile phone really with the car, and also using the Google Assist with our new system. Now, the, the C40 really is a, a new vehicle for Volvo, but it enhances and encapsulates the benefits of an SUV. So that's the easy ingress, egress, the high seating position, and the versatility which really connects with the lifestyle of our customers. Yet this is a sleek, dynamic, modern car. Now I have Tijon here with me from Exterior Design. Tijon, let's maybe talk about that sleek, dynamic line that we have on the C40. Well, I mean, the, the starting point of any good exterior design is, is with the proportion. And, and that's essential in this car, meaning the profile of the vehicle. We, we've established in the market a, a super successful XE40, where the play upon that vehicle is sort of this tough little robot mm. that had a lot of attitude. And I think this, this vehicle somehow captures even more character um, with, with the roof line. And this, this came from the initial sketch, really. Yeah. And then just how this project started, because I know that um, the, a lot of projects start through, a, of course, a strategy and a design brief. But I have to say on this one, it really did start with a sketch. I mean, when that sketch was created by the designer, it was, it was like, wow, here's a, here's a no-brainer. I mean, it was compared nose to nose with an XE40. Um, so that really led us in the, into development uh, right away. And what we tried to play is take all the successful elements of the XE40 design and really how do we, how do we capture them in this vehicle? And one of the ways we did that was playing upon this uh, painted roof or the different color roof. Um, that sets up an architectural item. So we have this one line coming down the belt and up the C-pillar, and then really the, the clamped roof that plants the car. Design. And that gives it the strong graphic between the, the roof and the lower part, and, the, and makes it easy identifiable as this, this strong Scandinavian design, because it's simple, but it's the strong graphics. Yeah. yeah, and when we talk about that clean lines and clean form language as well, one of the attributes in XE40 that has such a strong character, again, is this sort of monolithic approach. One of my uh, favorite sculptors is, is Brian Cousy, and he really plays upon that monolithic sculpture um, in his work. And I see that here as well, which we're very inspired by having this more or less one volume, and then we use and carve through sections. And it's so clear and obvious as a, of a theme in XC40 and C40. And that's the beauty. So we're taking almost a solid form, carving away the material, and from that, it creates then the clean graphics of the car. Yep. It's a very logical, simple theme set up for the entire car. So you see that in the, in the body side, like I just mentioned, but then you also see it in the main theme of the shoulder that wraps around into the front of the car. And now let's talk about the, the front, because I know um, certainly our philosophy with Volvo is about strong light signature, the Thor's hammer. So we, we keep that with this car, of course. Um, and I think it also plays the importance of light with Scandinavian design, with this strong um, element of, of light that you recognize the car. What about the rest of the, the front? I mean, we have uh, now the electric face. I mean, this is a full electric SUV. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the challenges in this vehicle. How, how do we create this uh, electrified expression, sort of this efficiency in the vehicle? Um, when we start with the nose profile, it really has carries on a similar character to its older brother, let's say the XC40, um, but with a closed grille. Yeah, we've and, taken out the grille frame yeah. around it, really gone flush and, yeah. and modern. Yeah. And that's, again, communicating that efficiency in the front. Um, it also helps above the grille itself. We have one line coming across above the headlight, which I refer to as kind of an eyebrow. It gives a, a structure to the eye of the car. So the facial expression is still there uh, of this very menacing and powerful front end. Um, and when you combine that with the lower wings on the, on the front of the vehicle, that really helps plant and set the car architecturally on the ground. So in the, the front, with the lights as we were talking about, they have the latest state-of-the-art pixel technology, which is great. How does that play out on the rear? I mean, we, we have a very strong DNA identity of the vertical tail lights as that comes around. 
Yeah. But we did a little twist on the rear lights. Yeah, I mean, we have our, our extended roof line profile that goes from, from above Thor's hammer in the front all the way kind of up and over the roof and down the rear tail lights. And what you'll notice uh, for the first time, we've really taken our, our vertical signature and laid it down onto a coupe profile. Uh, and that was, that's definitely something new for us. I mean, Volvo really is clearly identifiable in the rear with his vertical taillights, much like Thor's hammer in the, in the front. So we have a very strong, strong light, yeah. lighting identity. Um, and we did a bit of a, a twist with this on the, on the C40, where instead of a solid line up the whole, uh, whole play, we did a segmented approach on the vertical element. It's a very big lamp, <laughs> uh, but it allows us to do quite a sequential uh, welcoming light, yeah. which is, is quite cool. Yeah, I remember that. I mean, we did a whole journey with the engineering team because it is such a big lamp, mm -hmm. but uh, doing the segmented light, I think, helped, helped with that, but it gives it a really modern graphic, yeah. um, which is identifiable for the C40. Yeah. Now, it's one of my favorite views from the rear because, of course, we also encapsulated that width of the car. Mm -hmm. How did we do that? Well, I mean, again, it's to the lamps, where, where the, the SUV bigger brother, let's say the XU40, has one vertical lamp that goes around to the side, but we've decided to swing it back and clamp the puzzle piece or shield, as we call it, in the rear yeah. that's between the taillights. And that shield stretches all the way out past the, the trunk opening into the lamp uh, area with body color elements there. So that's how we're really getting that uh, ultimate width view in the rear. Cool. And then looking basically at the side of the car again, I mean, the, the car is sat on some really nice modern aero wheels. Uh, yeah, tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, the stance of the, the three-quarter view in the rear uh, is, is impeccable. Again, accentuated from that wide rear tail lamps, but again, it's planted on these beautiful wheels. Um, you can correlate the connection between what we showed design language-wise in our 360C concept with this very solid architectural approach. And we've done a five-spoke version here to be a bit more dynamic, which plays with the C40 itself. Fantastic, great. All right, so I think now let's, uh, let's maybe move on to talk about the interior and color materials. As I said earlier, it's, it's really about now uh, listening to the, the story of the designers about how they've been influenced by nature and light, similar to exterior design, and also their take on sustainable materials and using natural materials.